Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandia. <laughs> hey, all you savvy naturalistas, welcome to DIY Saturday. Today, we're making a fluorite orange and rose bath salts. Oh, oh, oh. So essentially, I made this recipe because right now I'm obsessed with baths and just like pretty baths. You guys, I know we're all on Instagram, so I just see these beautiful baths on Instagram with just like flower petals, and I wanted to do something with like that. And not only that, Josh has been having like really bad back problems. So he likes to use my bath bombs, which you can find at SavvyNaturalista.com. And he also um, puts Epsom salt in the bath. So I wanted to make him sort of like an Epsom salt floral. So <laughs> floral uh, bath, because he likes pretty baths too. Let me just say this, okay? He's so uh, uppity. <laughs> <laughs> like now he's into baths he's into tea i'm like where's this country boy i met six years ago who was into um you know roughing it on the you know like can you know like country people what they do i mean you know i didn't never know they were into baths and tea since he's been having a lot of back problems epsom salt is really good for your back it relaxes the muscles it uh uh, release it relieves the tension and the uh, soreness in the muscles as well so that's what you'll need for our first ingredient is Epsom salt and we have a big bag because he his back is always out so I just wanted to make something really interesting this time he takes a bath honestly I'm just gonna sneak in there and dump it in there, but he doesn't know that yet. So hopefully by the time he sees this video, he won't know <laughs> until after. So wish me luck. So you will need Epsom salt. Uh, you will also need um, turmeric powder. Now this is just to add color. Uh, when I add this to my baths, it makes the water more like uh, really pretty like a yellowish tintish yellow now I do add a half a tablespoon of turmeric if you guys want to see I add a half a tablespoon of turmeric because it just makes the bath just pretty it really adds a nice color when you get when you guys if you're looking at the picture right now uh, it's just a really beautiful color it adds and we also do add peach tea so this is more like a peach um, rose orange sort of summertime bath salt so if you're into taking baths in the summer you will enjoy this bath tutorial um, yeah it's really great you guys um, you will need rose petals to make your bath beautiful I always think they smell like something but they never do they sort of smell like rose, but they're beautiful. You will need rose. Uh, what happens is once they're in the bath and along uh, for a few minutes, probably a little longer, they soak up the water and they just look really pretty. I don't know if you guys have seen these baths on Instagram, but they're just amazing the way they look. And I really wanted to create something like that on more of a natural scale for people who are really into natural baths without the bath tea because I'm really not into bath tea like that although it is nice because you don't have to have the petals all over the tub now this is a disclaimer you will have to clean your tub after but if you don't mind cleaning your tub after because you know it burns calories then don't worry about it you will need sweet orange essential oil you can find it anywhere amazon.com um any place you like. The last product you will need is Miracle Glow Oil. You can find Miracle Glow Oil on SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow Oil adds a moisturizing oil to your skin as you're in the bathtub. So 
you're just going to add a few drops to the Epsom salt and it adds the oils back into the skin because most of the time when you get out the bathtub, your skin tends to dry out and Miracle Glow oil adds the moisture back into the skin. So, you guys, let's go make our peach, rose, orange bath salts. We're about to make our peach orange bath salts. So what you will need for this is one fourth cup of rosebuds because we're going to make the floral mixture that will go in the bath salts. One fourth cup of rosebuds. I like to smush them up just a little bit, not too much, but just so they can go all around the bath salt, I mean the bathtub. You will need two bags of your favorite peach tea. I'm just using a Lipton one. And also, this is five calories, you guys. So you will need to put that in. I like to use two. And you mix that up. Now for color, you add just a teaspoon of turmeric. Now this is just to make the color more peach. Now, I will say this, if you don't want to stain your bathtub, this is not too much color that is stain it, but if you just if you're just the type of person you're like, "Oh, well, I don't want to stain my bathtub." Then just skip the color. It's still going to smell good and it's going to relax you. Now, mix this all together. So I'm doing right here, mixing it all together. And it should look like this. Now you want to set that aside and you want to add one cup of bath salts. So one cup. You can use any bath salts you like. I'm probably going to do a half a cup, a one cup and a half. So this is a half a cup uh, measuring cup. Most of you guys know I'm pretty off with the measurements but I'm gonna do a cup and a, a cup and a half <laughs> you guys so you want to make sure this is mixed so all the clumps are out now what I like to do at this point is add 20 drops of uh, orange sweet orange essential oil this is sort of a citrus smell to me um, the bath salts because oranges are not in season but I just love the smell of oranges they're just so beautiful so 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 beautiful you guys you will also need 20 drops of Miracle Glow oil now this oil can be found at SavvyNaturalista.com and this adds nourishing oils to your bath so your skin won't be dry when you get out the tub. So 20 drops. And you mix it all together. And then you add it. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm just doing this by hand. You can honestly use a spoon if you like. I have a spoon I was supposed to use, you guys, but it didn't, you know, I forgot. I got too excited because it smelled really delicious. Oh, you guys, this smells so good and it is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, oh, this is so beautiful. This is for those who love exotic baths you can make your own bath socks really exotic although i love to buy some because sometimes when you buy them at the store as well they have scents that i've never tried that are amazing in the natural community and the green beauty community as well so you know this is just amazing oh look at how beautiful you guys just a little color this will not stain your bathtub but if you sit in it too long you will get just a little ring but if you don't want to you can skip the color so this is what it looks like our peach bath salts I really hope you enjoy this DIY make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in our next DIY Saturday bye